temporarily halt collection of the state gas tax, and ease the burden consumers are feeling at the pump. We can't fix everything that Washington has broken, but we are doing our part to lessen the impact on your wallet. Well, as Americans get increasingly frustrated with high gas prices, Republicans, they see an opportunity setting up voter registration drives at gas stations. Let's bring in Fox Business anchor Dagan McDowell. I mean, the, the, the registering of voters, that's one clever thing that the Republicans are figuring out. But what do you think about just waiving the gas tax for a while? So Maryland and Georgia have decided to pause it in, in different ways. Lawmakers in Illinois, Massachusetts, Maine, Michigan, Minnesota, New York, and Tennessee are also looking at it. Connecticut is doing its own thing. Florida waiting until after the summer tourist season to maybe waive the gas tax there. In California, Trace, mm -hmm. the Democrats have cooked up this stupid idea of sending $400 to everybody as a gas tax rebate, even if you don't have a car. You don't have to drive, you don't have to lease a car, you don't have to own an automobile. So that's called a handout. I understand the political motivation behind waiving the gas taxes because Again, the sky-high gas prices are a hardship for so many Americans, a regressive tax. It's, it's not something that people can handle. But when supplies are tight, I'm a nerd. I'm a, you know, I sit I know. and read, you I know, Federal it. Reserve policy papers at night with my Coke bottle glasses on. From an economics standpoint, you don't want to do anything to juice demand when supplies are tight. So you, the way you bring down prices is you, if Biden and company were smart about it, they would do everything in their power to produce as much oil and natural gas as possible and, and transport it. And they would, but you also want to lower demand and higher prices naturally cor cor um, correct demand and people adjust and you have the right to do that. I want to add one thing. And by the way, as a shopper, so Florida is going to get rid of its uh, gas tax temporarily, 25 cent tax in October based on where gas prices now are in Florida. That's a 6% discount. You know mm -hmm. what? 6% discount really doesn't do a whole lot. You know, give me, give me like in the 15, yeah. 20%. I'm stoked. Not with own 40%. Not, not 6%. Yeah, I just want to play this because speaking yes. of gas stations, and we'll take one more swing at California in a minute, but <laughs> we want to play this. This is Ronald McDaniel, the RNC chair, talking about registering voters at the gas station. Watch. We've been registering voters for the past five years since I've been chair, but really we're making sure that the voters know this is the Biden gas hike. When you are at the pump, it is because of him, and it's having great results. See, I think it has, I know you disagree with me, I think it has kind of a weird vibe. You're sending out the saying we're registering voters, we're, hey, we're, we're applauding high gas prices because it's going to benefit us, and people are thinking, why are you doing that? Well, if you're, your if you're subtle about it, you just say, here's why gas prices have gotten to where yep. they are. It's not because of Putin. National average is still up about 50% from a year ago. All you have to say is the Biden administration slow rolled gas and um, natural gas and oil permits, halted lease sales on federal well, land and water. Well, tell everybody what Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan told President Biden the other night. A scoop in Axios said Jamie Dimon went up to Biden. Jamie Dimon, big old Democrat, mm -hmm. as my dad would say, uh, pushed him for a Marshall Plan on domestic energy, and that does include developing more natural gas and other energy resources. Having a cohesive, coherent plan to produce our fossil fuels, which are rich and plentiful and make us a richer nation and increase our prosperity and our standard of living. I just thought you booked me because I know how to siphon gas. Yeah, you really? have that little yeah, thing where you can just turn the, the no, no. of dollars. No, I know how to siphon. Well, of course. Daddy taught me how to siphon in the 70s only to fill up the lawnmower, Dana. Okay. Only to <laughs> fill up the lawnmower. <laughs> Isn't that dangerous? Uh, you, you, yeah. know, you only need to taste the gasoline yeah, I mean, you once, do it once to, and then you... to do it properly. I see. He's still got that little short piece of gar green garden hose hanging in the shed. Mm. Well, you take a picture of that for me next time. I, I will. Next time you go visit your pops. <laughs> All right, Dave, great to see you. Dave, good to see you. Thank you.